Hi, I'm Alexandra. In today's lesson, I am going to teach a basic English video about the indefinite articles a and an and how to use them before a noun. Let's look at the board. Let's focus on a and an. When do we use a and an? All right, so first sentence here. I'm blank woman. So woman starts with a W. The answer here is a. I'm a woman. Okay, second one. I'm blank artist. Hmm, artist starts with an A. So the answer is an. I'm an artist. All right, now if we keep going, we've got a little bit longer sentence. My niece is blank university student. Hmm. So university starts with the vowel U, right? That's the letter U, it's a vowel. So what's the answer? My niece is a university student. Okay, put that in. There's an A. Okay, last question. My aunt is blank, honest person. Is it a or an? Well, honest has an H, right? It starts with the consonant H and it's pronounced honest. My aunt is an honest person. All right. So if you don't understand when or why to use a or an, then this is the video for you. I will explain exactly when to use a and an before a noun. Also, keep watching until the end because there will be homework and a quiz. So let's get started. Before we learn about a and an, it's important to know what consonants and vowels are. The English alphabet has 26 letters. 21 letters are consonants, and there are five main vowels. A, E, I, O, U. Now is a good time to learn the rule of when to use a and when to use an before a noun. As young learners, your English teacher probably taught you this rule. If a noun begins with a consonant, we use a. If a noun begins with a vowel, we use an. Let's take a look at the board again to check this rule. First, we have a bag. Bag starts with a B, that's a consonant, so a bag. Second, we have a cat. Cat starts with C, that's a consonant, so this is correct, a cat. Next, we have an apple. Apple starts with A, which is a vowel, so an is correct. Then we have an eraser. Eraser starts with an E, E is a vowel, this is correct. Next is an iron. Iron starts with an I, I is a vowel, an iron is correct. Then an oven. Oven starts with an O, O is a vowel, this is also right. And finally, an umbrella. Umbrella starts with a U. U is a vowel. This is correct. If you look at it, it's the vowels. A, E, I, O, U. So it looks like the rule is working very well. But actually, this is not the real rule. Let's take a look at the next board. So again, let's look at these two first examples. A cat. Cat starts with a C. That's a consonant. That's right. An apple. Apple starts with an A. That's a vowel. So that's also correct. An apple. Now let's look at these two. A university. University starts with a U. So U is a vowel. Why does it go with a? A university. And what about this one? An 
hour. Hour starts with an H, and H is a consonant. So why is it an hour? You can see a before a vowel and an before a consonant. The real rule is a comes before a consonant sound and an comes before a vowel sound. C is a consonant sound, so we use a. A is a vowel sound, so we use an. The U in university sounds like y. Y is the Y sound, and Y is a consonant because it has that Y consonant sound. We use a. And H is silent. Our begins with a vowel sound, our. Because it has that vowel sound, we use an. So it's important when choosing a or an not to focus just on the letter, but also the sound that the letter is making. All right, let's move on. All right, let's take a look at these four examples. Remember, don't look at the letter, but listen to the sound that it makes. A uniform, y, yeah, uniform starts with the consonant sound Y, so it gets A. Again, A European. European also starts with the consonant sound Y, Y, so A European. An honor. Remember before we saw our, and the H in honor and our is silent, so it starts with the vowel sound, so an honor. Now look at this one, an FBI agent. Let's focus on the F, the sound that the F makes. F, F. So it's a vowel sound, so it gets an, an FBI agent. All right, let's move on to some extra practice. All right, let's practice using a or an. Let's meet in our. Listen closely. Our. We know from before that the H is silent. So let's meet in an hour. Okay. He will study. MBA course. Listen closely to MBA. M. MBA. Obviously, M is the vowel sound, so he will study an MBA course. She's happy student. Okay, look up here. Here the H was silent, but here we pronounce the consonant H sound. Happy, ha, huh, happy student. So, she's a happy student. He has excellent score. Listen closely. Excellent. E excellent, that's a clearly a vowel sound, so he has an excellent score. That's useless book. Listen closely here. Useless, y, yeah. it's that consonant y sound, useless, so that's a useless book. All right, great students, let's move on. Now you know when to use a and an before a noun. But you're not finished. This video is not enough practice. It's time for homework and a quiz. 
Please check the description of the video to find links to the class homework and a quiz. Also, be sure to comment below and let me know if you have any questions. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, please remember to like this video and watch my other videos too. Bye bye.